Oh. Right, just had this morning, had a parcel come, got live plants in it. I'll show you what I got. Right, I've got some strawberry plants. Got these from Thompson and Morgan. Uh, I've had the white wine wine beagles, beagles. Cambridge favourite. What's this one? Florence. And flamenco. Right, the reason I bought these because I've had vine weevil in me strawberries out there and it's ki killed most of them. Uh, I see a lot of people have had trouble with vine weevil. So I'm going to just plant these in pots this year I think and then keep them going and I'll have to do something with it where I've got them planted. I might put them back in the ground because I've never had trouble in the ground. So I'll just show you what I'm going to do. I'll just spin you around. Right, these are Cambridge favourites. I'm just going to put them in some water for a couple of hours. Have a drink. Don't seem bad plants. So I'll drop these in the water. Make sure I keep the right label on the right lot. I'll leave it in there tonight. So, Right, I'll leave them in there. So when I come back home from work later on, I'll start potting them up and I'll show you what I'm doing. So in the magic of editing, that went quick, didn't it? Right, I've been soaking now for three and a half hours. So I think it's time to pot them up now. Right, I'll just get them all out of here. Just give this compost a bit of a stirring round, mixing together because I've got Jack's Magic and the other one. It was this one, but it is Vitax Q4 com compost. It contains Vitax Q4. Well, I'll get this stirred up and then yep. I'll bring you back. These are Cambridge favourites. So all I'm going to do is put a little bit of compost in the bottom. Don't look a lot, but that should be all right. I'm done with some uh, bit bigger pots, but I've only got four inch. So. That's all I'll be doing. I'll try and get it so you can see. Right, so I've just put a bit of compost in the bottom. You all know how to do this, I should think. Just 
try to keep the crown just above the soil. Okay, you just really want to plant it to about this depth. So if you cover that, it might rot off. Right, I'll crack on and do these, folks, and then I'll bring you back. There we go. I'm just going to tack them all out to the coal frame. Right, all located in the coal frame now. So I've separated them apart. I might uh, nick Muddy Boots' idea and just put all sticky numbers on each pot. Because guaranteed I'll get them mixed up. So all I've got to do, these are up waters, some in the tray. So I'll just give these a watering. Right, I think that'll do all, well, and I'll just last thing close the lid. Down here, I put my things what I made for the gutter in, so I'll just leave the propagator open for a bit. So it don't get too hot in there in the daytime. Now we're having a bit of sunshine. Right, today, today Joe's cooking us some out on the plot today. I didn't get my camera out quick enough, so I've missed the start. So we you try and explain what we've got going on. Uh, on the pot I've put um, chopped garlic and chopped onion, virgin olive oil, it's going to be virgin, and it just chops the purple sprout in it on very, very low heat. And then we'll cover this up and let it uh, steam it. And then I add some chili and um, anchovies. And when that is almost cooked, we take off the heat in the same pan. We take the broccoli off, put it in a separate dish. On the same pan, put some water and we boil the pasta. Uh, preferably linguine or spaghetti. And when the pasta is cooked, we drain it, we strain it, should I say, and we had the broccoli or the purple sprout, you like to call it with the anchovies and chili and a good touch of uh, virgin olive oil and uh, parmesan cheese or if whatever best is uh, parmesan cheese or if you got the pecorino pecorino is better pecorino is more tasty <laughs> yeah and let it, um, let it rest for about 10-15 minutes and then you eat it and then you see what to eat you don't need any steak after this You've got all the nourishment, taste, all the goodness, and tonight you don't have to add any water. As long as the heat is low, you don't need any water because the moist of the purple will cook it. It's nice and tender. <laughs> it is on. It's burnt the airs off my hands. Well, it's a lovely day to be out here, Joe. It is nice, yeah. I hope it doesn't yeah. rain. Uh, we just had a couple of spots. We thought we were going to have to make a dash. Um. Right, we'll just get this chopped up and we'll bring you back in a minute. Yeah, as soon as it's cooked, we'll show you when it's cooked. Yeah, it don't fit, yeah. Joe. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> 
we'll get something that fit, don't worry. Right, now I'm going to add the anchovies in it. What do the anchovies do then, Joe? Is it the, the salty? The anchovies is the salty, but also brings you the flavour out. Look, you see? I chop them. And you can put as much as you want, as long as you don't put any salt first. Otherwise they become too salty, the purple. I put a bit extra because I know Nick likes them. Oh, I like them like that. Yeah, I know. A lot of people don't like them because they're salty. Yeah, I love them. I uh, can remember when we was in Sicily in uh, Palermo and they was putting them all into jars. Yeah, get them ready. Yeah, put them in the jar. fresh. That's the anchovies. That's it. There it is. So we got already the chili and the anchovies. And let them cook a little bit longer because they're not quite ready yet. Put the lid back on. Put the lid on back on. I will see you in a minute. Now you can see it's uh, almost cooked. Don't over do cook it. It's going to be al dente. Take it off the pan. The reason why I'm taking off this pan is because we're going to use the same pan to cook the pasta. Because we forgot the frying pan. Because we <laughs> some silly sausage forgot the frying pan. I could just eat that like that without the pasta. Yeah, yeah, who wouldn't? Right, we'll bring you back in a bit, folks. Okay, now I open the packet of pasta. As you can see, Napoli. Napolina, which is... How big is that pack, Joe? One kilo. Oh, my Christ. Yeah, it's only four of us. It's four of us. It should be enough, isn't it? Only just. <laughs> <laughs> I think we used to eat half a kilo between us. Yeah. So, it'll be five of us, because I'll we'll keep some for Sandra. Oh, yeah, you got to look after the wife. A bit more. You're cooking. Uh, yeah. About three quarters of a kilo in there, then. But more, more. it's all about a hundred gram left. <laughs> so it's nine hundred gram of pasta. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we stir this. Don't put the salt yet until the pasta gives the first boil at least. What is that then? I just don't know why they all, they all That's say That's how that. Mama used to do it? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Let me cook it. And don't forget that the water must cover the pasta when you cook this pasta. Right, we'll bring you back again in a bit, folks. Yeah, and it's time to strain the All the health and safety here. If it drops on the floor, don't eat it. Is it warm, Joe? Yeah. We switch the heat off. We put the pasta back in the pot. And now we add the purple, which I done earlier on, remember? Give it a good mix. Put bloody put strimmer. Raising olive oil. Don't be mean with it because you, you will absorb it. Because now we're going to put in the pecorino. Oh. Well, as I said, if you haven't got pecorino, you can put the parmesan cheese. You can see, look, pecorino is uh, rather yellowish colour. 
but it's got a nice strong flavour to it. Don't be mean with it. It's like all it, the hard cheeses, they smell a bit like sour milky flour, uh, flour, flavour. But uh, they taste good. Now you can see it's all nice mixed. Now we put the lid on. And it's very hot. And we let it rest for about 10 min 10, 15 minutes. And we get the table ready. We get the table time. ready. Right, we'll bring it back in a bit, folks. Right. Start to dish up. Set up. Thank you. That's enough for us, Joe. Oh, <laughs> well, there's plenty here. Mm. Mm. Oh, look at that, Sarah. Mm. That's for Sarah, for Nicola. Jubilee. Oh, look at that anchovies! <laughs> oh, I like anchovies. Come on, Nicola. Salted all fresh. Thank you. Salam. Good morning, Salam. Yeah. That's fine. That is a broccoli. Thank you very much. Shall I put it here for the yeah. time? Now, the crummy shaft. I said I had a spoon, but I haven't, so I have to use a fork. Is that a cheese? Mm-hmm. You go up. Thank you. Lovely pecorino. Salve. Yes, please. Okay, that. Some for myself. You having some for Ron? Sorry? Saving some for Ron? Yeah, save some for Ron, yeah. Later on. Yeah. Okay. Let's enjoy it. Yeah. Especially if we got a fork. <laughs> oh, Which look. one do you want? This we one? Afters. Thank you. That's on. Thank you. Okay. Buon appetito. I hope you enjoy it. All right. Well, it's been a lovely weekend on the plot. Weather's been lovely. Um, got a bit done and thanks to Joe for cooking us a lovely meal again so till, till next time Joe thank you and my first picking of asparagus for this year 2018 and last year's parsnip and carrots so there we go so thank you for everybody for watching and subscribing. So till next time, ta-ra!